Curiosity Kids, this is Linda, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Did you know everything in the world can be put into one of two categories, living or non-living? What's the difference between something that is living and something that is non-living? Let's go see what we can discover. When studying living things, we notice that all living things do four basic things. First, they move. They change position. Living things do this on their own. They walk, fly, or maybe slither. Did you know that plants move too? Flowers bloom and leaves of sun-loving plants turn towards the light. There are many more ways to move. Can you move? Second, living things respire. Respiration is the process living things do to create energy. This is breathing. This process requires the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. You do this all the time. Take a deep breath. Go ahead, take a deep breath. <gasps> now exhale. <sighs> this is the process of respiration. You took in oxygen and exhaled carbon dioxide. You breathe. All living things respire, even plants. However, plants breathe differently than animals. During the day, plants take in light and release oxygen as part of photosynthesis. At night, they take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. This is plant respiration. Respiration happens during the day and the night. Third, living things reproduce. Reproduction is the process that living organisms use to create a likeness of themselves. Plants reproduce through seeds, spores, bulbs, and shoots. And babies of all kinds are all examples of reproduction. Finally, living things grow. A sprout becomes a tree. A kitten becomes a cat. Caterpillars become butterflies. Even you will become an adult. All living things need certain things to survive. Air is needed to breathe, to respire. Even animals that live underwater need air. They need food. Living things need to take in nutrients for energy. Water is the single most abundant chemical found in living things. Do you know 70% of you is water? Living things also need shelter. Humans have homes. Animals build lodges, dens, hives, and nests. Even plants need some shelter. They shelter each other by blocking sunlight or weather. Smaller plants may grow at the base of a large tree. The tree provides shelter for them. Now, let's look at non-living things. It's easy to identify non-living things. For example, take a look at a rock. Does a rock move? No, not by itself. Does a rock respire or breathe? Nope. Rocks are just rocks. They don't do much. Does a rock reproduce? Although there are little rocks, the big rock didn't create them. Does a rock grow? Nope. And they certainly don't need air, water, food, and shelter. Rocks are non-living things. Let's see if you can identify some living things. Look at these images. Can you decide which is living 
and which is non-living? Great job! If you want to test your knowledge about living and non-living things a bit more, just head to the museum website at statemuseumpa.org and look for our virtual learning page. Join me again next time to discover something else I'm curious about. Thanks for tuning in.